Okay, sorry guys, the phone uh, died uh, on the last items, so I stop and uh, we have to do a second part of this video. Sorry, I wanted you to see all this stuff together, but uh, this was impossible. So, I was just opened the third one, which is uh, the Silky Nata, as you guys can see. This is made in Japan, nice sheath, this is aluminium, I believe on the photo that this was plastic, this, is, uh, this portion here is in aluminium, the, the loop here is in, um, I believe, some type of uh, leather, I believe, possible. So this is the uh, Silky Nata 240, which is the size of the blade in millimeters in the, on the metric uh, system. Uh, there are four types of Nata. The 240 with double edge and single edge, which is the classic uh, bevel of the Nata, which is, uh, I believe you would call it uh, the Kissel Grind, uh, which is only one, one size. Uh, the, the bevel only on one side and uh, the bevel is the classic one it comes with a convex bevel the silky nata comes with a, a flat, flat ground flat bevel uh, then there is the 180 which is uh, a little bit shorter the classic size of the nata which is 180 uh, long and um, uh, this one also coming with single and double edge so as you guys can see uh, this is the double edge one so uh, more um, will fit uh, I believe uh, maybe um, more with um, us that are more used to use knife with double bevel than uh, just single edge bevel uh, I believe in Japan they are used to uh, nata, the classic nata, and for them maybe it's even better to do some cuts on some particular cuts on the wood to have just the classic uh, one with the, the classic bevel. So this is the nata, it's very big, very heavy, 5mm thick, SSK5 uh, steel, which is a classic carbon steel. Uh, the handle is very comfortable. I believe that maybe this is even uh, even uh, more uh, um, more good in chopping than the the S wing because of the size, the type of display. This is uh, this feels like a monster in the end. Very comfortable. The tongue is it's almost uh, it's almost uh, a full tongue. I don't know if how I can uh, open this the handle maybe I don't know it won't uh, come off easy uh, but uh, okay 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 now you can see how is this handle yeah, so very nice it's almost uh, full tongue I I believe this one uh, is um, it's a classic design, it um, resembles the, uh, the scrap yard or the busse with, uh, with their classic tongue construction. Uh, let's see if I can... Ah, okay, just like that. Okay. Yeah. 
it's really really nice in the end of course you you have to do carefully and you have to use some strength to put this one off it's normal guys uh, <laughs> the handle will be loose otherwise um, so this is a very very power um, uh, tool I wanted you to see how it is uh, sharpened so I believe that you can say it's sharpened well okay let's see the S-wing the S wing is not is not sharpened well. Okay. Of course you can cut, but it's very rough. Definitely not uh, air shaving sharp. Let's see the gold steel. Ah, okay I would say that the cold steel is almost better than the Hesling which is not good for the for the Hesling just one moment guys I always uh, uh, wanted you to see some comparison in my video so it's I believe you remember this is the a classic uh, Japanese nata made from by Takeshi Saji. The size also is classic. The sheet is classic, so you can see this is the the more modern style, more uh, classic made sheet of the silky, also made in Japan. This is the classic sheet of uh, Oak, I believe, made in Japan. The forged look, the tongue here. This is not very, very well made. It's, uh, it's not straight, and the bevel also is not straight. This is flat here. And this one is convex. The sides also is the classic one, so this is definitely bigger. Oh, sorry, this was just the box of the Nata. This is definitely bigger, the Silky Nata. So the 180 would be more like this, the comparison. Um, the, the type of the blade is similar, of course, the bevel is different, the point also is different. The thickness is similar. I would say that the Takeshi Saji is a little bit thick. I believe this one is five millimeters thick. Um, this one is almost six millimeter in some points, 5.5 in some points, five, some point six. It's not uh, quite precise like that. This is also carbon steel, of course. Uh, the tongue is different. This one feel more uh, heavy on the front so if uh, because of the tongue this is almost uh, the tongue is almost uh, uh, stick tongue almost uh, full tongue blade construction i would say that the this one seems more heavier on the end because of the balance point which, which is forward for the tongue this one feels a little bit lighter on the end, but this one is probably more heavy than the other one. So I believe. Uh, ah, I will always show the sharpness of the classic one, which is great. This is air shaving sharp, the classic uh, Nata. So that's all for today I hope you guys uh, like this video and uh, of course we will try these items and uh, I wanted you to uh, I wanted you to read some thoughts on uh, these items 
Uh, sorry, the table was a little bit messy, but uh, this is a big package. And uh, let me know what is your experience with the cold steel shovel or the S twing, uh, long or short axe. And uh, what do you think about the Japanese nata? And which one would you prefer? Um, in my opinion, I would say that uh, the classic one is more nice. Um, but for use, the handle is more comfortable on the, the silky nata. For um, a people which is from America or Europe uh, or uh, Africa or uh, whatever, I would say that the classic bevel is more... Uh, we are more used to the classic bevel, the classic double bevel, which is convex or flat. Uh, we are more used to use this type of, of, of tool, this type of knife. The classic nata with the kissel grind, the single uh, edge bevel convex, it's more difficult to use. You have to use a different angle on the on the heat. And um, in chopping, this uh, might be a little bit tricky. And um, I believe that not not all of the of the occidental people would like uh, this type of tool. But the nata is a tool made for chopping and batooning, which is which is uh, great and um, the nata are a great tool with great history and uh, they are very very nice in my opinion and uh, not very expensive type of tools and um, yeah for use I would probably my personal opinion I would probably choose the silky nata but uh, we will try and we will see I um, like I was saying before, I wanted you to read in the comments what do you guys think of this uh, this tool, of the Estwin, the Costil and the, the Nata in general. Okay, thank you so much for watching and um, we will see, I hope, shortly in the, in the, in the future, I believe, uh, I hope uh, in the near future to try this tool. Um, I will not sharpen the nata, I will not touch the cold steel, if we will try, we will try just as it is, but we must sharp the, the S-Twing because uh, it's, um, it's ridiculously unsharp, so we must sharp the S-Twing before we use or test, um, that's uh, mandatory, you know, you, you can't use uh, uh, an axe which is which is not uh, which is not cut uh, well uh, the paper it, mm, it's impossible to me to use <laughs> this type of tool so we will sharpen the string and then we will try okay bye guys